about to chop your wiener off, motherfucker! Yeah! Well, now what? Here we go. Ooh. I like that. This one's a little slower than normal. God damn it, Arthur. That hits hard. You like my remix, ditch. Arthur, this song's a goddamn banger. All right, this game is called Dad. It's spelled dead, but they cross out the E, hence the name Dad. Oh, hey, Dad. Wait, is that Arthur Morgan? Are we playing as the son of Arthur Morgan? Uh, we're almost there, Harry. Are you sure about this? Says Marky. Me. Yes, uncle. He is my father. I always dreamed of meeting him. Okay, so we're going to meet our father. This is our uncle. After 25 years, he just comes back. I don't trust him. Uh, you were like a father to me, Marky, but I need to do this. I just want you to be happy, says Uncle Marky. Thanks, uncle. I'll be fine. Dude, we're going so slow, unless this is the house. Okay, here we go. Uh, see you later, son. Be careful. Wait, I thought I was your nephew. Hey, hold on a second. Plot twist. Marky was our father all along. He just throws my bags out in the rain. Yeah, fuck you. He's like, now get the hell out of my life. I'm done paying for all your groceries. Okay, got our duffel bag. I'm so nervous. I've waited many years for this moment. Dude, why does this house look abandoned? Oh, wait, we can look in the windows. Dad? Dad, are you here? Your father is dead. All that remains is his ghost that haunts this place. Let's go say hi to dad. Who the fuck is knocking on my door? You have 10 seconds to get off my property. Dude, I'm telling you, dad's dead. Or maybe I was right. That was just like a, you know, something I just threw out there. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Dad. Father. But Jesse's our dad. Son, I don't even know what to say. I've waited so long for this day. Now, none of that matters. What matters is that we are together. I'm happy to be able to meet you. I have so many questions. I'm happy too, son. You can come in. It's your house. Thank you. Where can I leave my bags? You can have the room upstairs. It's a big old house. I hope you don't mind. We're just going to let the door open. Okay. What is that? Is that a cobweb? You know, dad, you should really clean this place up. You should shut the fuck up, son. Mind your own goddamn business. Ooh, this is where he keeps the dead bodies. There's got to be a twist somewhere. It is a horror game. Dead bodies behind the padlock door. Doors locked. More dead bodies. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I I thought there was, those were legs hanging over the, the edge of the bathtub. I, I, I thought he just casually left a body laying in the bathtub. Okay, right, we got to go upstairs and find our room. Which I don't even know where the staircase is. Is that what he said? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, go up, go up the stairs and turn right, son. Leave your bag in your room, you little bitch. Strange, I just met him, but I have the impression that I've known him for a long time. Okay. Bags have been dropped. Oh, more dead bodies. In the bathtubs. Yeah, dad lives in a crack house. Why doesn't he resemble his dad? Because he takes after his mom. And his Uncle Marky. Yeah, remember? Uncle Marky's the uh, the real dad. Or, ah, uh, son of a bitch. Or, Uncle Marky dropped him off and drove away. Uncle Marky didn't see Jesse. So, maybe Jesse isn't the kid's father. Jesse killed his father and is now living here and posing as his dad so our real dad is dead jesse is some murderer that's just squatting here which explains why the place looks like shit it's not his house he don't give a fuck and uncle marky never got to witness the door opening and seeing his brother because otherwise he would have known right away 
Boom, that's not my brother. Hey, get back in the car. Get back in the van. Let's get out of here. Let's go call the cops. That never happened. He's like, would you stop snooping around, you little bastard? All right, Dad. Teach me things. Let's go outside and play catch. Are the bulbs burn out? It is a little... The lighting is kind of weird in here. I, I wasn't sure if the lights were off or it's just dark. I don't know what happened, son. I think the fuses on the power panel blew. I can take care of this for you. I worked for two years as an electrician's assistant. Uh, assistant to the electrician. I really appreciate my son. I would even help, but I have back pain. I got lumbago. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. Where's the power panel? Go up the stairs. First door. Thank you, my son. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Not to help you. I'm just happy to sit in this chair. I'm also happy to be here. I need to find some pliers and some electrical tape. I also forget where he said the... Oh, here's some electrical tape. Black tape. And as far as pliers go, I don't see any in here. All right. Anything in here? Ooh. It's like the attic, but it's on the same level as like everything else. Oh, okay. So here is uh, the, the lawnmower, but also the fuse panel. It does not work. Now we got to find those pliers and come back. Hang on a second. I must look for Death Chord 3. Is there any super pixelated versions of Death Chord 3 on the shelves? Oh, wait, here we go. Pliers. All right, now we'll head back to the attic and fix the fuse panel. Does not work. Yeah, I know. He said pliers and electrical tape. Well, I got news for you. I got both. Oh, oh, we got. Okay, so this is what needs fixed, but we got to repair. We got to repair this up here. Okay. All right, good to go. Dad still hasn't moved. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so much better on the eyes. That should fix it. The wiring in the house is very old. So now let's go back downstairs, say hi to dad, let him know what we did. Hopefully he tells us we did a good job, tells us we love, he loves us. Everything's okay, dad. It was just some broken wires. Thanks, son. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Why don't I look like you? And why do I look more like Uncle Marky? I just wanted to understand why you left. Those were difficult times. I'm sorry about that. I'll never forgive myself. Those were difficult times. The, the six months I was with your mom when I decided to leave, uh, those were difficult times. And then just never came back and time got away from me. I confess that I've lived my whole life angry with you. But when I heard your voice on the phone, all my hate went away. I thought you would never forgive. I thought I thought you would never forgive myself. I'm going to read it the way it's supposed to be said. I thought you would never forgive me. Thank you for giving me a chance. It's OK, Dad. I'm so happy to be with you. Now that the power's back on, what do you think we watch a movie? I rented some VHS tapes for us to watch. Of course, it would be incredible. You think one of the movies is a 616 game? Remember that other game we played? Uh, the movies on the coffee table were actually games made by 616. Stab! Yes! Stab is a, is a 616 game. And, and Poop Killer 7? I can't read the other one. Another Poop Killer. I like the movies, Dad. How many did you watch? Uh, you have good taste. That's funny, because the movies are their games. Uh, but the last one was very strange. Poop Killer 9? The guys who created this have to be crazy. The flying poop part was a little strange. But I really liked it. I'm a fan of Poop Killer. Or oh, was that the kid saying that? Either way. Now I'm going to sleep, son. I'm too old to stay up late. Good evening, Dad. Oh, good evening, Dad. Wait, how do I say that without it sounding like a like a greeting? Good night, Dad. There we go. If you need anything, just call me. Feel free to check out the rest of the house. Just stay out of that locked door where I keep all the dead bodies. Just don't... Oh! <laughs> I didn't even read the rest of it. Just don't go in the basement. Uh, that's a mess. Same thing. Same thing I said. Thank you. And see you tomorrow. I think I'll go to sleep too. I'm tired. Dude, I'm telling you. Oh, there goes dad. 
I'm telling you. Dude, 616 is going to send me a message one day and be like, can you stop playing our games? Because like, you, you call out our stories long before you beat the game, and it's kind of ruining our, our the thing we have going on here. All right, so can I shut that? Yeah. All right. So we'll go to sleep. Should I turn off the lights? Cannot turn off the lights. We sleep with the lights on. Okay? It's a scary place. Trying to get comfortable, that's all. Just tossing and turning all night. Put the lights on. Are those footsteps? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? I gotta tell you, like that right there is like scarier than any fucking situation that we've we've been in in a 616 game or most horror games. That's fucking crazy. I'm telling you, that's not his dad. I mean, if it is his dad, it's even more, you know what I mean? Like that that's fucking crazy, but I'm telling you that real dad is dead, real dad's in the basement, and this fucking pervert is, is now like, he's got our fucking, he's got this kid, in the fucking house. Holy shit. Oh my god. We gotta kill this motherfucker. Dude. The game's... I mean, we just started this. I, I don't know where the fuck this is gonna go. Oh my god. Dude, in the slow runaway, I'm like, can you please get off the fucking screen? Faster? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, am I supposed to investigate? Objective. Investigate the pervert. I'm gonna... I guess keep calling him dad. Dad, are you here? Until we find out otherwise. Yeah, the game is called dead with the with the E crossed out. So either that means dad is dead. Like now that you say that, it makes sense. Or we are dead because of dad. But yeah, the, dude, the, the name of the game is kind of like a huge clue. I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. Oh my God, I found him. Maybe he's just sleepwalking. Dad, are you okay? Baby steps, tiny peaks. I, uh... What are you doing? Maybe he's not, maybe he was just sleepwalking. Okay. Dude, I... I was not expecting the game to go in that direction. Like that was never even, that never even crossed my mind. That was really weird. Yeah, what a weird dream I had last night. I need to ask him. Dude, what the fuck? Like he was watching us sleep. Oh look, here he is acting like nothing happened. Hey, hey dad. Is he, is he smiling? I can't tell. I don't know if that's just like the way his mustache grows or if he's actually smiling. Good morning. Everything is well? Good morning, my son. Everything is great. Did you sleep well? Uh, fuck no. Yes, I slept well. I need to ask you a question. Of course, you can ask me anything except why I was staring at you last night while you were sleeping. You, any question other than that one. I'm your father. Uh, last night, what were you doing? I mean, you were walking around the house naked. Me? Uh, no, my son. I slept like a log. I didn't leave my room at night. Uh, it must have just been a dream. All right, we got some hardcore gaslighting going on here. 
Uh, do you need anything, Dad? I need you to stop asking so many goddamn questions. Since you asked, our lawn is horrible. Could you cut it? Sure, Dad. Do you have a lawnmower around here? We already saw the lawnmower in the attic. Yep, it's somewhere in the attic. Thanks, son. Uh, I bet you we have to clean up the cobwebs at some point. Oh, also, could you clean up all those cobwebs? Horror games are synonymous with chores. Chore simulator. All right, so here's the lawnmower. We have to carry this thing downstairs? Yep. Oh, dude, it's, it's so light, though. We're, like, mowing the attic. Maybe I should wait till I get outside. Or not. Maybe it doesn't start until we get outside. No, it's going. Hang on, Dad. I just got to clean my room real quick. I got to shave down the Berber a little bit. Be right down. All right. There we go. I was never a fan of shag carpet. I had to take it down a little bit. Say goodbye to your feet, pervert. Yeah, good luck walking around. Watch me while I'm sleeping next time. It's hard to get around when you have no legs. Yeah, I can't, I can't pick it up. Put it on his lap. All right, I guess we'll go outside and mow the lawn. Oh, it's just that easy. Boop. Just gotta tap it. Boop. That's a shadow. Can we mow the pool? Do we have to mow the front yard too or just the backyard? All right, we cannot take the mower into the pool. All right, let me go check the front yard. Hey, Dad. Are you proud of me? Oh, we do have to mow the front yard. I love how there's no way to turn it off. And the fact we have to go from, like, whether you start in the front yard or the backyard, we still have to take the lawnmower through the house while it's running. Unless there's a, I didn't see another way around the house. I think we have to go through the house. All right, I'm speed running this now. Yeah, put it back in the attic, still running. Oh my God, dude. Like for the sake of the game, I think just having the backyard would have been fine. All right, there we go. Okay, I think I did a good job. Do you approve of me, Dad? We go across the street? No. We can't go say hi to the neighbors. All right, should I put it away or talk to him first? I better return the mower to its place. Okay. Oh, man, what do you think is going to happen on night two? Here we go. All right. All right, what's next, Dad? Hey, you want to watch another movie? That kind of changes the dynamic of things. Like the first night where they watch movies together. Now if he says that, hey, you want to watch some more movies? It's uh, it's a little different. Things have changed. All right, Dad. I mowed the whole lawn and the house. Thank you, son. I can barely take care of the house because my back hurts so much. You know, on the account of the lumbago. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Someone knocking on the door. If it's someone looking for me, tell them I'm not there, please. Okay, I'll see who it is. I think it's Uncle Marky just like checking in. It's me. How did I? Is that me? Yeah, what the fuck? It's me with a hoodie. Good morning. Can I help you with something? Casey. Uh, hello. You must be... Oh, I need to use a different voice. Hello. You must be Jesse's son. He talked a lot about you. Yes, it's me. Are you my father's friend? I've known your father since I was a child. I've lived next door. Cool. Can I do something for you? I'd like to talk to Jesse. I haven't seen him in months. Is he okay? He's fine. Unfortunately, he's not here now. But I'll let him know that you came. Okay. If you need anything, I'm right here. Okay. And thanks for coming. Okay. So, 
Again, real dad dead. Mystery guy on the, on the couch or on the chair over here. Yeah, I, I guess that's Queso. I don't I don't know him well enough. I hear the name a lot, and I think I've seen a few clips, but it didn't jump out at me that that was Queso right away. But I guess I guess that's who that was. He looked jacked as shit. Is Queso like a power lifter? Okay, so let's go tell Dad that Queso was looking for him. It was the neighbor. He said he hasn't seen you in months, which is so weird because you're right here. Uh, that's annoying. Always knocking on the door. Any problems with him, Dad? You want me to kill him for you? I mean, he said they were he said they were childhood friends. I don't like him. Always spying and intruding. In fact, I don't like any of these neighbors. Got it. I told him you weren't here. I, I told him you weren't there. It's better this way. Do you need anything else, Dad? I made a pie. <laughs> it's on the table. Yeah, could you put it in the oven? Of course. All right, let's go bake for dad. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps walking during conversations. I'm not, look, I'm not picky. Indie horror, you got to have an open mind. You got to overlook some shit. Oh, that's a nice looking pie. Are those onions? Is this an onion pie? I, actually, I think they're pumpkins. Is this pumpkin pie? Or maybe it's not anything. Maybe it's just the design. All right, and we'll throw this in the oven. Oh my God, dude. I thought I was gonna turn around and he was gonna be naked standing there. The pie was delicious. My father is a good cook. Bitch, you cooked it. Everything is going well, but it felt like he was hiding something from me. Yeah, your, your real dad in the basement. I don't know. He has two padlocks in the basement and I'm sure that wasn't a dream. I need to see what's in that basement. Tonight, I'm going to wait for him to sleep and try to get in there. Well, that was quick. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to, you know, experience another night where dad's spying on us. He's already gone to sleep. I need to get into the basement. Dude, I'm going to say he's not, he's not asleep and he's roaming the house. Oh, that's him snoring. Okay. Dude, it's like, his room's like that way downstairs and you can hear his snoring all the way up here. I need to get into the basement. Oh my god, dude. Naked dad jump scare. Wait, what door is that? Okay, either way, let's check out the padlocks. I, I thought that door was locked earlier. Alright, so we have two padlocks. Need a, oh, one needs a key. One needs a code. Yes, the key is under your dad's scrotum. You must sneak into his room and, and retrieve it without him noticing. Okay. This door was locked. See? He must have left it open. Um, okay, that's, his, that's the killer's mask. 739 is the code for the padlock. But we still need the key. The key must be in my father's room under his nutsack. Dude, I, t I called it. Oh my God. I got to get the pliers. We need, we need those pliers that we used earlier. Oh, okay. I guess they're right there. At least he has pants on guys. Good news. Actually, he, he's fully dressed. I mean, we can kill him right now. Hey, I mean, if we determine that he's not our dad and he actually killed our dad, we can kill him right the fuck now. Why does everybody sleep with the lights on? Okay, 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 okay. Step one, key. Oh my God. Seven, three, Nine. 
Here we go. Moment of truth. What are you doing down here? What are you hiding, Dad? What are you hiding? He's still snoring. Okay, we have a door right there. Just looking around real quick, see if there's anything else we need to check out. Locked! Shit, another locked door. I keep waiting for him to be standing at the top of the stairs. Looking down at us. What in the fuck do you think you're doing? Well, now what? We need another key? Uh, hold on. Nothing there. I guess we're done down here because without that door? Yeah, I can't open up anything else. Flies. Dude, definitely a dead body. Like when it comes to 616, anytime there's a dead body anywhere that you can't see and you hear flies or see flies buzzing around, definitely dead body. Shit, he woke up. I need to hide. Dude, this is the darkest place in the... I'm, I'm fucking dead. I don't know where else to hide. I'm just going to stand in the dark corner and hope for the best. I think I hear footsteps. I don't want to move. Okay, do you think he's wearing clothes? Probably not. Are we supposed to stay down here? Ah, damn it, dude. I'm moving. Okay. Oh shit, right here, right here. I, I didn't realize there was a designated hiding area. Please be wearing clothes. Please be wearing clothes. Not wearing clothes. Strategically placed shelves in front of us. Yeah, better check on the dead bodies. Make sure they're still dead. Well, hopefully he leaves that door unlocked and then we can finally get into it. Because it didn't say anything about needing a key. He moves so slow. Yeah, I'm sorry, son. Sometimes the lumbago makes me take off my clothes and do weird things. I think he's already been... I think he's already been. Maybe gone? I think he's already gone. I think is what it should have said. Still locked. Shit. Maybe that's the key that he keeps under his scrotum. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Did he go back to sleep? I don't hear snoring. This is very strange. What is he hiding in the basement? Did he go back to sleep? Is his door open? Door's locked. Okay, so he went back to sleep. Oh my god, dude. Like, uh, part of me still thinks he's maybe roaming around the house. What was... Uh, it was a door rattling. I don't think it was the front door. Oh god! Fuck! He's so... You again? It's a little late to knock on the door. Sorry, I'm just a little worried. I haven't seen your dad yet. Is he okay? Yes, he's fine. Already sleeping. Can I come in? I'd like to talk to you. Sorry, friend. I'm already going to sleep. I just want to make sure he's okay. I mean, I really haven't seen him in months. I already said he's fine. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Just tell him to come talk to me. Okay, tomorrow I'll 
talk to him. I want to see where he goes. Oh, uh, he just walks away. No umbrella, no nothing. Just see you later. What a crazy guy. I better go to sleep. Dude, I'm so worried if dad is in our bed waiting for us. Like, what if he's in our room? No. Okay, thank God. We don't have a door in our room. Did we have a door? I thought I thought we had a door. There was never a door? Okay. I like how the weather and time of day instantly change. Okay. All right. Night two was not nearly as bad as night one. Um, can I go home now? Can I go back to living with Uncle Marty? Dad, where are you? Dad? Ooh, what if we find Queso dead? Dad fucking kills Queso. For, well, fake dad kills Queso for snooping around. Well, I'm sure the dad would be... Uh, he has to be suspicious. Because he had this locked, and now it's unlocked, and there's only two of us in the house. So he's got to know that we're snooping around. He told us not to come down here. Still locked. What was that? Shit, I need to open this door. Okay, well, there's a, a tool bench over here. No crowbar. All right, we need to open. We need to open the door. Oh, fuck you! <sighs> hey, Dad. What's going on? Damn, Dad, you scared me. What did I say? What did I say about going in the basement? I'm sorry. I was just curious. This is my home. You need to respect it. I'm sorry, Dad. I promise not to do this again. I think it's really good. I hope it doesn't break any more. I hope it doesn't break any more rules. Dude, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. It's, it says, I think it's really good. I hope it doesn't break any more rules. I promise. Do you need something, Dad? That neighbor. Did he come here again? Your friend? Yes, he came here last night. Want to know if you were okay? That curious bastard. I need to go downtown. I'll be back at dusk. Okay, I'll take care of the house. And you know, don't go in the basement. Dude, Casey's dead. Casey is dead. Oh, he's putting the locks back on. All right. See you, dad. Well, he didn't go the direction that Casey went home. So maybe he's not murdering Casey. I guess I'll take care of the... Oh, shit. Oh, does the game really want us to believe that Casey's the killer? Shit, that neighbor again. What does he want? Ah, dude, no. Dad is definitely... That's definitely not our dad. Casey's trying to help. He's probably going to be the one to kill dad. Like we'll probably uh, be fleeing from the killer and then Casey will show up and like save the day. I hate opera singers. Is that also Queso? Did he like fund this project? It's kind of immersion breaking to have like Casey, the character, and then also have Queso on TV and they clearly look the same. Okay, it kind of breaks the immersion here. My father hasn't returned yet. Wait, let me check the basement door, see if we do need a key. It's okay, it's locked, but the the padlock and the combination lock are gone. That's locked. Okay. Knock at the door. Probably Casey. Yep. You again. My dad isn't home. You need to listen. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you need to listen to me. You're in danger. What are you talking about? Is this a threat? 
No, pay attention. You need to trust me. I don't... I don't even know you. How can I trust you? And do you know your father? Do you trust him? Just say what you want. I don't understand. Let me in. I'm sure he's in the basement. Who's in the basement? It's scaring me. I will show you the truth. Just let me in. Okay, okay. Man, this kid trusts everybody. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Dude, what a twist if he is the killer. No, I'm, I'm sticking with my, my theory. I'm just saying, like, that would be a crazy twist. But you have a key for the basement? Uh, it's locked, dude. You can't go down there. Good luck. Oh, okay. Apparently, he has a key on the bottom of his shoe. Huh, it's kind of suspicious that he knows exactly where to go. What's he doing? Tell me straight away. What do you want to show me? I already suspected something was wrong. Jesse is a good man. I always talk to all... The, I always talk to all the neighbors. I still do not understand. Don't you realize? You're not a child anymore. What? What? I do not know. That man is not your father. Son? Son? Please wake up. <gasps> We've been reunited with our dad. Oh, real Jesse. Okay. Damn. Damn. Who the hell are you? I am your... <laughs> I am your father. My father? Wait, I'm confused. That maniac kidnapped me. I've been trapped here for months. At least he's feeding him. You know, probably feeding him some delicious pie. He tricked me. Oh, he tricked me. I thought he was my father. I'm so I'm sorry, son. I got to change the voice. I'm sorry, son. Uh, this wasn't the way I wanted to meet you. Who is he? Why did he keep you here? I don't know. He offered his services as a gardener and hit hit me on the head. I woke up here and since then he tortures me every night. What the fuck? Sorry for cursing, Dad. We need to get out of here. We could scream for help. I already tried. No one can hear us from here. And it only makes him angrier. Damn, Dad. I wish I had met you another way. I'm sorry, son. I think he's coming. Don't say anything. Oh my god, dude. We have to watch him torture the dad. And the question is, how is he going to torture the dad? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay. Does he have clothes on? It looks like he has overalls on. Oh, well, that's... That's a good... Oh, my God! Damn it! I have to, like, censor this. Okay, we can see a little bit of it. Oh! That's not torture! That's... Uh, he just fucking murdered him. So that's it? Honestly, I thought the dad was already dead. Now, let's start our game. I'm sorry. Now, let's start our game. Dad? 
Dad, wake up! Ah, amateur. He left the murder weapon in the victim. Start game? All right, the game just saved, so at least we have a checkpoint. Ooh. It's like Saul. I want to play a game. What's over here? Oh my god, dude, yeah. I couldn't see the guns downstairs. Okay, there's a objective over there. I just wanna look. Yeah, we can't pull the boards. Man, he really prepped this house quick. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I have to make sure there's no other trip wire. Okay. There are bear traps everywhere? Oh, yeah. Can we disarm them? No. We just have to make sure we don't step on them. Cut the rope? Oh, shit. Cut the rope. Oh, there's a pie in here. Oh, right here. It's our dad's head. What what did that do? Um oh I think it raised the piece of wood that was blocking the stairs. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so those are all attached to knives. Oh my god. We need a key for the attic. All right, here we go. God, dude. This is so nerve wracking. It's so tight. Take key. That's right. Take it. What? How? can't oh my god I, I I was I was I was trying to reach over the uh fuck oh dude oh good we gotta go to the bathroom there's gotta be a rope in the bathroom to cut no there fuck Take the key. I don't see. Oh, 
Oh my god, I thought we were shot. Dude, I, I kept... That's the only thing that made sense. I was clicking on it with E. I was slicing it with the knife. Nothing was happening. All right. Now we got the key. We got to be really careful, though, and not touch these lines on the way out. Fuck, dude. It's so hard because I, I don't know how wide I am. Like, I'm just... There we go. Um, like I'm just aiming the camera through, like trying to keep the camera centered. God, dude, this is so fucking crazy. Okay. Uh, key for this. Well, the dad must, the uh, the killer, he must assume we have the knife because the only way to disarm some of these traps is to cut them. Damn, wait, I have a lighter in my pocket. Okay, you want to grab that? Oh. I'm about to chop your wiener off, motherfucker! Yeah! Well, now what? I'm, I'm stuck in here. crazy is that this game was released right around Father's Day and in the end here I am I didn't even have time to meet my father is that what it said I'm waiting for the police to arrive my uncle is also on his way I'm glad I survived and I killed that bastard I promise to be a good person father I promise to honor our name Wow. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Dude, 616 don't give a shit. Killed the kid. Oh, the, the, the queso said you're not a kid anymore. So and it was like 20 years. So he was like 20 or something. You know, he was at least 20 years old. Wow, that's crazy. I, I, I'll say that. I like that we got our revenge, but it's actually kind of crazy. I, I like horror games that end like that, or horror movies that end like that, where like no one survives. Dude, the da the real dad died? Like, I thought the whole objective, well, I thought we were gonna open up the door, find dad's dead body, but there was no way that we would have known that's our dad. So they had to have him alive in that scene for him to say like, hey, I'm your dad, unveil the killer, you know, and, and kind of reveal the twist. And then when I saw that our dad was alive, I'm like, okay, cool. We can like get out of here and save our dad. Everything's gonna be good. Nope, he's fucking dead. Uh, I, I even said that Queso was gonna be the one to help us, you know, kill the killer and then get us to safety. No, no one fucking survives. Wow, dude. I wonder if I have to censor that for YouTube. Like, do I have to censor the, the wiener? It was, dude, it's pixelated and it was like borderline a hot dog or a wooden peg it wasn't yeah it wasn't even that big i think i can do like a pixelated sensor thing somehow i gotta look into that or a sensor bar or maybe a youtube logo over his wiener all right well dude from the makers of poop killer this was dad man this is not the direction i thought the game was gonna go like if you if you said hey swole what do you think this game is about that was not it but once we started playing, um, there is a movie, and I can't remember what the name of it was, 
but a mom dropped her two kids off to stay with the grandparents. You guys might remember the movie. Maybe you guys know the name of it. And then it turns out that the people that were living in the house were not the real grand, the visit. That's when, when we like within like what? Five minutes of playing this, boom, that movie popped in my head and that's how I was able to predict the ending of the game. Because of that movie, this, this had all the signs of that plot. Yeah, the visit. Yeah, because the parents dropped the kids off. They never saw the grandparents. Same thing here. Marty drops the kid off, never saw the dad. Like it, it was kind of playing out that way. Yeah, the visit. All right, well, that is dad. I always want to say dead, even though it's it's technically dad. Dad by 616. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video with all of your friends. Thank you. Dude. I can never be a YouTuber because I can't do that shit like with a straight face. I, I just I feel dumb saying that kind of shit. I wish I didn't though. I know we're on Twitch, but I, you know what I mean? Like, hey guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite part was. And please let it not be the part where the dad was standing naked with his wiener in the in the camera. Uh, be sure to drop a like and uh, share the video with all your friends. Thank you. I don't think I could ever say that and have it sound like it's supposed to. If you know any, if you have any friends that would enjoy watching a video about a pixelated wiener, uh, be sure to share this video with them. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. Uh, uh, swole out.